What's up guys, it's Corey with Inspect the Gadget and today I'm going to show you how you can expand the storage on your Nexus 7 device. Now one of the gripes I had with the Nexus 7 is, and a lot of people have with the Nexus 7 is that there was no uh, memory expansion at all. So no USB uh, expansion, no flash expansion or any of that. So I've got a solution for you. Some people may already be aware of this. This is for those of you who aren't aware of it. So let's get inspecting. So guys, what you need is you want to go ahead and get you a dongle. Now I've got this one. This one I got from a store we have out here in Atlanta called Micro Center. And uh, I think it costs about 20 bucks. And you can use this dongle. It's a micro USB uh, OTG dongle, which is OTG stands for on the go. So you need something that supports uh, OTG. So you want to get this dongle. Guys, there's plenty of cheaper uh, dongles out there and cheaper cables out there. There's an OTG cable on Amazon that works with the Nexus 7 that many users have reported works with the Nexus 7. And it costs about two bucks, guys. The only problem is it ships from China. And uh, you may be able to find one on, on eBay that actually ships from the U.S. I think I actually uh, finally found one on eBay that ships from California. California. So you might be able to, uh, to, to try that one out too. There's an OTG cable. There's also an OTG dongle that you can get for a couple bucks as well uh, through Amazon or through eBay. And uh, I'm going to put links down below for those as well. Uh, again, some of them ship from China. So, you know, if it ships from China, it's going to take at least three to four weeks for it to get to you. So go ahead and check that out. So now once you've got your USB dongle, what you're going to do is you're going to download an app called Nexus Media Importer. And once you download Nexus Media Importer, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do from there. All right, guys. So for non-rooted users, what you want to do is go to the Google Play Store and you're going to download an app called Nexus Media Importer, which I've put a link down below for. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and plug in your dongle into your uh, micro USB port. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and open up Nexus 7 Media Importer. And it, it's going to ask you if you want to allow the app to access the USB device that you have plugged into your dongle. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to access it. And as you can see, I clicked on photos and all my photos and everything showed up. And if you want to go ahead and check out a picture, you just go ahead and click it and it shows up down here at the bottom. Now, it also does the same thing for videos. If you want to watch a video, you just go ahead and click there. And it asks you if you want to stream it. You can click stream. And let's see, it's starting up there's your video right there okay pretty awesome so it's actually streaming this from the flash drive that I've got plugged into the micro USB dongle so it's pretty awesome so stop that there go back and go here so yeah it's pretty awesome you can do the same thing for music but I don't actually have any music on here to show you guys but it's the same process you just go ahead and click and it'll open up whatever music player you've got on your Nexus 7 and start playing the music same thing for documents if you have documents stored on there you can go ahead and click and it'll open up whatever document viewer you have or text viewer you've got on your Nexus 7 that's pretty much it guys for the Nexus Media Importer go ahead and uh, tell me what you think click the link and download and let me know if you guys like it uh, leave your questions or your comments down below so guys I'm Corey with Inspect the Gadget you can follow me on Twitter at Inspect the Gadget you can also circle me on Google Plus at Inspect the Gadget and again I'll see you on the other side peace